Hello Virgo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Virgo, this is your reading for the month of uh, October, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Uh, Virgo, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is a likely conclusion between you and this person. All right? Let's get started now. Virgo, in this reading on YouTube, we'll see... Uh, what is your energy, the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with and you will be dealing with. I'll also pull out certain Romance Angel Oracle cards. Uh, make sure you watch the video till the end. So let's see what is your energy Virgo for the month of October. We have Knight of Pentacles. We have Judgment. Chariot. And Knight of Wands. Nice. As far as your person is concerned, we have Hanged Man. The King of Pentacles, then we have uh, Five of Swords, and we have Eight of Cups. <clears throat> what are the romantic messages for you for the month of October? Nice. Ooh. Wow. So Virgo, you may be dealing with a Cancer, Sagittarius, Pisces, uh, Gemini. Uh, I'm also hearing Capricorn for some of you. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. You may be seeing 1111, 1, 1, uh, Number 7 is of some importance you guys number two is of some importance you may be seeing seven 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 one seven uh triple two twenty two twenty two right let me show you i did show you the cards right <laughs> It, it looks like you want to take a certain decision and there are two opposing forces uh, trying to take that decision in a different direction. Maybe you want to take a decision but that decision making process is getting delayed or you're experiencing a lot of stagnancy because different people are giving different opinions to you or maybe your mind is getting pulled into different direction I am sensing that there is a decision that you want to take and probably that decision involves you moving somewhere involves a significant change in your life and either you are in two minds considering that change or people around you are giving you different opinions regarding this change but i i see that there is a decision that is pending or there is a certain level of stagnancy and you want to free yourself from that stagnancy but then there are these two opposing forces the knight of pentacles and knight of wands they're trying to impose something on you they're trying to impose their opinions or either these are people or either these are two opposite thought processes which are there is a tug of war between these two thought processes say for example you want to uh, uh, say for example you're contemplating moving to a different country one thought process uh, is telling you if you take this decision there will be so and so benefit uh, good for you and then there is another opposing thought process 
which is telling you like you may probably have to distance yourself from your near and dear ones you may have to venture into an unknown territory you don't know the culture over there that will be a totally new environment you may have to fit yourself over there it will take some time so there are two very strong opposing forces over here and because of that a certain decision has got delayed however with the judgment and the chariot probably you are you will be able to listen to your you will be able to understand what you truly want from the bottom of your heart in the month of october you will be able to free yourself from this stagnancy you will be able to make a move okay you will be able to decide regarding something is what i'm getting okay because and why you will be able to make a decision is because you will be able to get in touch with your true self you will be able to understand what is it that you want uh in your life and what is it that you're manifesting from the bottom of your heart okay so what is hidden within the within the innermost core of of your mind body and soul you will be able to tap onto that energy in the month of october and that is how you will understand like okay this is the decision i want to make uh, it can be related to anything relocation is just one of the examples i'm giving you it can be related to anything okay so you will be able to take a decision whether i want to uh, get relocated to a country whether i want to change job whether i want to buy a house i want to buy a car i want to stay i want to start a different career i want to make a change in my career whatever it is whatever decision it is you you will be able to take a firm stand on that you won't fall prey to these opposing forces the knight of pentacles on one side and knight of wands it it looks like someone is trying to impose their opinions on you or it looks like two very strong thought processes are putting you in 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 one place and not allowing you to move or not allowing you to listen to your innermost self uh i'm also hearing that water is a therapy for you water helps in giving you a lot of clarity for some of you the best thoughts or the best ideas you have got while taking a shower your mind becomes extremely active when uh, or your mind is at peace when you are taking a shower or when you are bathing so water is like a therapy for you so try to get in touch with water apart from taking a bath in in a tub or a shower okay uh, if you can take a dip in the pool or if you can take a dip in the ocean if that is possible for you make efforts to uh make efforts to get in to make a contact between your body and and a water body okay water is like a therapy for you you get a lot of clarity you your your healing process accelerates when you get in touch with water okay so water is very important for you for some of you your sun moon and rising might be uh, uh any of the signs might be a water sign for some of you sun moon rising venus for some of you you guys may be scorpio venus is what i'm getting there is a very strong energy of you wanting to free yourself from something it can be indecisiveness it can be uh free yourself from someone's control some of you probably are feeling like you have no voice in whichever scenario you are you probably are feeling like there is no voice for you whatever you're saying Uh, is falling on deaf ears okay and you you are you are not happy in in some in certain situations somehow you are feeling insulted somewhere 
okay and you want to free yourself from that situation I'm, I'm, I'm hearing that dignity is getting compromised in certain situations and you're not liking that I'm also hearing that you are born with a warrior energy okay so challenges do not create any kind of fear in you and you should be aware of this fact your warrior energy is very strong okay you can overcome and defeat extraordinary challenges in your life and your potential is is huge is what i'm getting especially with the judgment and the chariot card next to one another and I, i'm spirit wants me to convey this to you because some of you are aware about about this some of you probably are not aware but your warrior energy is very strong and you are someone who do not fear challenges okay and you can accomplish a lot in your life this is what spirit wants me to convey to you you probably are getting uh love interest you probably are noticing people are interested in you but somehow the kind of uh, somehow you feel like whoever is coming towards you is is not a match this person is not good for you and you can never be i mean you can never think of this person as your romantic interest or uh someone whom you can entertain in your life uh, in any form you probably are not happy with the kind of people are showing a romantic interest in you you want better people in your life to show romantic interest in you you know that you are amazing you know that you are a tough person you know that you are you have come a long way okay but somehow i'm getting this sense that the kind of people you have been you you were uh, the the previous partners they were not aligned to with your energy and the incoming romantic interest are also not good and there is a sense of dissatisfaction like why i'm not able to find uh better people in my life okay and somehow there is also a level of dissatisfaction because you are getting a feeling like why i am required to fight for every single thing you probably you may have uh, you may be a black sheep within the family you may have experienced certain things while growing up uh and that has impacted your true self to a large extent your personality to a large extent you probably may have faced problems in making friends or people who were a uh, friend of yours they ended up backstabbing you bitching about you and doing things uh, to harm you you faced severe competition throughout of your life and you literally had to struggle for small small things and because of your tough life journey you are happy on one hand that you have come a long way but then there is also a certain level of dissatisfaction like why there is so much of struggle why there is struggle at every single step in my life there is there is a certain level of dissatisfaction over here and what i'm hearing is you have been given opportunities to know yourself these challenges are only giving you opportunities to know yourself these challenges are only giving you opportunities to understand with which kind of people you should be mingling around with and which kind of people you should avoid or which kind of situations you should be avoiding once you start recognizing your true self there is a huge level of abundance that is waiting for you 
again i'm getting getting that message that you have tremendous potential and you can do a lot in your life as far as your person is concerned we have hanged man we have king of pentacles we have five of swords and we have eight of pentacles so and someone from the past may try to come back <clears throat> but this person is unaware of the level of growth you have achieved in your life this person is still stuck with the same mindset when you left them or when you guys parted ways and they are still in the same mindset whereas you have grown a lot they may try to come back but they will have to go back disappointed because they will upon meeting you or upon having some certain conversation with you this person will instantly realize that uh any kind of effort they will make to come back to you uh those efforts will go in vain they will realize that and they will go back and with the king of pentacles and the hangman what i'm getting is there is someone who is meant to be with you in this lifetime who can who will give you the much needed stability and what you want okay but i'm also hearing that there is some some kind of a work that is needed to be done at your end a change of perspective or maybe a change of location or maybe something else you are being guided constantly virgo you are being constantly guided that you are supposed to do this you are supposed to do that you you got to listen to your intuition you got to listen to you the signs and symbols and synchronicities that you are experiencing in your life you are manifesting something and that manifestation will turn into a reality but there is something that that is that is needed from your end and you know that well okay like i told you it can be an action like a relocation or it can be a moment or a travel or uh, a change of job or or maybe for some of you a change of perspective it's it's about recognizing yourself recognizing your own self worth and that is how you will be brought near to this king of pentacles who is going to give you the needed stability in your life and whatever you are required to do a change of perspective a job or a relocation or whatever it is okay realization of your self worth that that will start happening in the october in the month of october that will he help you come one step closer to this person who you are supposed to be with in this lifetime money is good for you again money is good for you you need to tap on to your potential and money is good for you even right now i guess you you are good with your money i believe you are someone who can have multiple sources of income and pretty steady sources of income you you are someone who can have profitable uh, minimum two profitable businesses okay you are given those required skill sets you are someone who has come a long way and that's why you have developed tremendous amount of patience okay and because of that you can because of the fact that you have the required patience and the calmness within you 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 can make right decisions for yourself okay you can make the right moves get in touch with yourself do some meditation virgo this reading is very positive and this reading is giving you a lot of direction a lot of guidance and you need to pick up on that i i believe i strongly believe that a huge can huge level of abundance is waiting for you ultimate satisfaction ultimate happiness ultimate abundance financial and otherwise is waiting for you all right let's talk about the the romance angel oracle cards uh, calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together you are calling you are calling i can clearly see that you are calling your prospective partner there is a level of dissatisfaction like why i am meeting the wrong people i want the right one okay but because you are meeting the wrong people you are having more and more clarity like 
no, this is not the one. I want a better one. And that is pushing you towards the right one as well. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Worth waiting for. Don't worry. Don't, don't feel disappointed. Things are going to happen at the right time. Express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. All right. I hope this resonates and hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. The link for the extended is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you. What action they will take towards you. What is the likely conclusion between you and this person? All right. Take care of yourself and have a great time ahead. Bye-bye.